The Cinematic Shuffle has shuffled once again. Now, if you were around last week, you would have seen me give off my three hints for this week's Cinematic Shuffle review over on Twitter, because I actually forgot to do it on YouTube as a YouTube short, but whatever. Again, those hints were Dead Body, Hitman, and Comedy. The film in question, of course, is Weekend at Bernie's, a film that I feel like everybody at least has seen once, but probably more often than that. Let's get cracking. Weekend at Bernie's tells the story of two lovable buffoons that spend a weekend at the rich employer's beach home where they discover their boss has been killed. When everybody around them just doesn't seem to realize that Bernie's actually dead, they concoct a crazy idea to still enjoy their weekend getaway and act like Bernie's still alive by stringing him up and using him like a ventriloquist dummy essentially but soon they realize that they might be in danger of joining old Burn. Before I go on with my review, make sure that you head over to my Twitter handle at IAMDWG, where I put out my weekly three hints on Wednesdays. I often try to post the same things as a YouTube short on Thursday or Friday. I forgot to do it this week again, sorry about that, but it is what it is. Now let's head on to my review of Weekend at Bernie's. So I partially grew up watching this film. It's It's been around since I was one years old, so you can imagine the sheer amount of times that I've seen it. Several. <laughs> Whether all the way through, or with just bits and pieces, or having it play in the background while I do other things, it's been around. And for me, it's nostalgic. It may not be for others, and as always, comedy is absolutely subjective, but I have always enjoyed the film. I find it extremely funny, weaving together the styles of physical humor and dialogue choices that for the most part still seems to work to this day. I actually think that it's really, really important to note that a part of this film is the choreography of what Bernie's doing. That's part of the charm, and honestly, it's stunt work. You don't always look at it that way because it's not an action film, but it really is putting somebody, whether it be the actual actor or a stunt double, through excruciating pain and broken bones, all for pulling off a few jokes, and it works very, very well. I also found that the characters are really strong for the most part. They're all literally idiots, but in their own way they work and they stand out on their own. Richard is the uptight idiot, Larry is the carefree idiot, Bernie is the dead idiot, and the hitman that can never seem to get the job done is the crazy idiot. They all seem to complement each other in a way, and as far as Weekend at Bernie's 1 versus Weekend at Bernie's 2 goes, believe it or not, this is the more grounded of the duology, taking place mainly in one spot with a narrative that is so simple-minded it's essentially nothing. But this might actually be a little bit of a hot take, but I actually prefer the sequel. Bernie's 2 is more of an adventure comedy and is known as the one where Bernie's body is cursed with voodoo and whenever music turns on, his body gets up, does a little bit of a dance, and starts heading towards some kind of hidden treasure. It's way more stupid and Looney Tunes than this movie is, but I also find it to be more memorable because of that. Now more than ever before, I want to revisit the sequel, but hopefully it'll come up soon for a future cinematic shuffle review. What does not work so well for this movie though, is the fact that there's this random forced romance storyline that for some reason the film needed to have. Richard's character has a crush on a coworker, and I'll admit the first date that he has with her is pretty funny. He ends up at his parents' house, which is where he was living at the time, and uh, it's hilarious watching him stumble through a false narrative where he tries to claim his parents died in a tragic train accident where a plane fell and hit the train, and then he fumbles even more when his dad emerges into the kitchen shirtless and he's like, oh no, no, that's my butler. It's great, it's funny. But honestly, they focus too much on this romance angle. On one hand, you can only really milk the same dead guy joke for so long and need something else to focus on. Also, it's the only grounding part of the story to balance everything else on, so I kind of understand the importance of it, but it feels so boring with everything else, and she's the only character in the film that's not dumb, so in a weird way she doesn't actually feel like she fits in either. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look what I scored Weekend at Bernie's, which was... A B plus letter grade, final overall score of 82%, 82 out of 100 possible stars, which is a score that is agreed upon 
from my technical unbiased score as well as what I personally thought about the film or my bias score. All of that was 82%, which basically just means that it is well made overall, but not perfect. And I also personally thought that it was pretty funny, but not as memorable as the sequel, so 82 sounds about right. But what about you guys though? Have you seen Weekend at Bernie's? Have you seen Weekend at Bernie's 2? Which of the two do you prefer more? As for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next installment for the Cinematic Shuffle. And until then, peace out.